Opera's about spectacle, but it's even more about the music and the voices. That certainly goes for highlights from operas of the late 19th century or a little after, and that music will be explored in performance on Sunday by the Boston Bel Canto Opera. To tell us about the performance are Bradley Pennington, the founder and artistic director, and Olga Lusovskaya, soprano soloist. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. My thank pleasure. you. Thank I want to start with uh, Bradley because, uh, you, you know, uh, again, this is not the big spectacle, full theater kind of uh, performance, but uh, what's the niche that this company you run uh, try, tries to fill? Well, uh, in founding my company, we have done both uh, opera concerts and complete productions of whole Italian operas. These being in concert version that we have done at Jordan Hall. But these concerts now, like the one this Sunday, this is an opera concert of solos and ensembles with piano accompaniment. This is for the Luigi Pirandello Lyceum, and we have been doing this concert for this organization now for 23 seasons since 1998. And this, is, this one this Sunday is going to be featuring four soloists. Olga will be making her debut as soprano, and it will be with one other soprano, Meredith Hansen, tenor Giovanni Formizano, and baritone Paul Soper. I will be the MC and the piano accompanist for the event. Olga, well, tell me uh, about some of the music that, that you're going to be singing at this event. Well, it's Boston Bel Canto Opera. So this particular concert, as many of the concerts of, of this company, mm -hmm. features the great Italian repertoire, operatic repertoire. I will be making my aria debut, Kil bel sogno di Doretta, by Puccini from La Rondine, and I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. And I will be also singing uh, my virtuoso aria uh, from Linda di Chamonix by Donizetti. It's O Luce di Quest'anima. It's a very fun aria uh, featuring uh, the whole voice from really high and going to lows and pas uh, different coloratura and staccati and uh, everything you want to hear in a coloratura piece, you will get it in this piece. Well, of course, uh, coming back to the name of your company, Bradley Belcanto, <laughs> This is uh, you know, not so much declamatory or dramatic as melodic, I guess. Uh, what does that mean? Bel canto simply means beautiful singing in Italian, in translation. I called it that because the reason I founded the company in 1993 was because I felt that Boston lacked productions of operas from the middle of the 19th century. There were new groups that were doing newly composed works from contemporary times, but there were also fabulous groups like Boston Baroque and Handel and Haydn that did works from the 18th century. There wasn't much going on right in the center of the 19th century, so that's why I founded it. Uh, I had also done a great deal of research into this repertoire, so I felt quite competent to put these things together and to hire the singers that could exemplify what the music demanded. Olga, I mean, there's such a broad appeal uh, of Italian opera in other countries. You come from a, a different part of Europe yourself. Mm -hmm. But what about trying to sort of absorb the mindset of the Italian operatic tradition? What, what did that mean for you? Well, opera, especially Italian opera, comes naturally to opera singers. It, mm -hmm. it is the most important uh, genre and most important language in the opera. Um, world and when you study opera well coming from my own personal experience I come from a musical family my mom uh, is a singer and she was involved in all the productions different operatic productions so I heard a lot of different operas uh, growing up including Verdi, Donizetti and though that music just became uh, very second nature to me um, and of course, over the years, I've studied so many different languages, so many different genres, and uh, bel canto, I believe, as a singer and as a voice teacher and as a producer, it reveals so much about a singer's voice. Many singers can, can sing uh, Verdi and Puccini, mm -hmm. but when you go and you uh, talk about the actual bel canto style and bel canto arias, Donizetti, Bellini, you have to have uh, such a control of your voice that really shows um, the amount of study and the amount of experience that you put in. That Br probably uh, one of your teachers taught Pavarotti, did I get that right? Uh... One of my voice teachers was the teacher of Luciano Pavarotti. 
And what did you learn from the siege? Because okay, I'm trying to get to the, genesis, the gist of Italian style here. Well, what is that? Well, I had basically, I had first of all been taught how to sing and got a singing degree from Boston Conservatory while I was teaching there, studying with a major voice teacher there who was Madame Iride Pilla. But uh, sometime after that, I had the good fortune to meet Arrigo Pola when he was asked to come to Boston to do a master class. I made his acquaintance. He asked me to start to play for his master classes, and we started to work together with his teaching me refinements and technique. It was magical. He reinforced everything that I had learned from Madame Pila, and it reinforced in me what I had to do in teaching my own students. Okay, uh, when people come to this concert, uh, it's, it's more than just technique for them, because I guess one of the pleasures of opera sometimes, even if you're not very familiar with it, is you hear something, I think I've heard this before, this is wonderful. <laughs> I, I mean, aren't, aren't there pieces like that in this program, probably? Oh, yes, yes. This program is beautifully put together. Maestro Pennington has such wonderful knowledge of the repertoire, and also he knows what each singer's strengths are. Uh, so, for example, Meredith Hansen is going to be singing one of my favorite arias of all time is uh, uh, Violetta's aria, the, the final scene of the first act, which is a beautiful scene, and people have heard it from different movies because uh, it's uh, iconic. The music is iconic. And we, of course, are going to be doing ensembles, and that is so fun to be uh, doing as singers, and it's really fun for the audience members uh, for example, we're doing the comic uh, Elisir d'Amore duet uh, with uh, one of my favorite tenors, whom you know, Reddy Giovanni Formisano. Uh, and then the whole program will be ended with a quartet from La Boheme. And Boheme is one of the most popular operas all over the world. Uh, and um, the music speaks for itself. It's, it's so easy to fall in love with this kind of music. Even people who've never heard mm -hmm. opera before, when they come to this concert, they will uh, be mesmerized by the beauty of the melodies because this is bel canto, this is beautiful singing, and this is beautiful music. Probably fine, we should mention the, the time and place and how people can get some more information yes. about this. The, uh, the concert for this Sunday, uh, it is the um, 23rd annual Italian opera concert for the, Pir uh, the Luigi Pirandello Lyceum. It is this Sunday, January 26th, Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. at the, the uh, Dante Alighieri Italian Cultural Center, 41 Hampshire Street in Cambridge. Thank you both very much, Bradley Pennington okay. and Olga Lisovskaya.